Did you get ready in the dark or something? Because you look like a beautiful nightmare. Hello Leo Rising, welcome to your September 2021 Astro tarot update astrological tarot update <laughs> my name is Tessa you're watching my channel oh uh, my goodness what a day what a day what a day it's Sunday and it's been quite a day <laughs> I, I'm in a I'm in a very interesting mood if you haven't already you've been able to tell all right so this is gonna be a reading for Leo rising um Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, if you're not a Leo rising, this might not resonate, but you're definitely welcome to stay, hang out, and listen to the message. Um, so I have the ask, I have the chart pulled up on my phone currently uh, for Leo rising. If any of you are wondering what app I use, I use Time Passages. So just so you know. Um, but yeah, just kind of throwing that out there randomly. Um, but yeah, we're gonna take a look to see what astrological transits are in effect through the month of September how the cards are going to match up with what is going on in the chart based off of your rising sign. So like what area of your life some of these energies are taking place, what it is you need to know, be aware of. Uh, just like in general, what do we have going on for you guys, okay? And then I'm going to clarify those cards with tarot cards. And I'm going to be using Mystic Monday's Tarot. Uh, I'll wrap up the reading at the very end with one oracle card from the Spirit Animal Oracle. And I'm not going to get into like the meaning of the card or like how, like interpret it or what I think it means. I'm just going to read you the card, tell you what it says, and you can just kind of interpret it for yourself. You know, you can just kind of like take away whatever you want from that. Okay, so what messages do we have for Leo Rising for September 2021? Messages for Leo Rising for September 2021. Messages for Leo. All right, so starting with your first card, we have Pallas Athena, Inner Wisdom. So Pallas Athena is one of four, one of four asteroids that was discovered in the early 1800s representing um, a diff, like a feminine part of us, okay? So Pallas Athena represents the, the feminine part of us that's like a warrior, okay? She's like this warrior energy. She is like in full like um she's got her um protection on she's got her helmet on she's got her shield she's got her spear she is in like like if she has to go to war she's ready for it but she is also known as the goddess of wisdom and the arts and the crafts okay um she was uh, originally born from zeus's head um she sprung out of zeus's head and you know even zeus became afraid of her okay because she was the goddess of war so this is like this like inner inner like deep inner part of um us that like really goes after what we want like this like inner like why you know uh, a very wise part of us that really exerts this like powerful feminine energy this like really um just kind of like determined but also like wise and also like mm, you better not stand in her way uh very powerful feminine energy okay and palace athena is currently in pisces in the eighth transiting your eighth house okay so there is definitely like a deeper something deeper within you maybe in regards to like it could be in regards to like some of the deeper things that you've experienced in your life or some deeper like intimacy things that are going on here like something that has to do with the unconscious so the eighth house is going to be the area of your life that has to do with like sex death rebirth intimacy like hidden enemies like things that are hiding um, in like your surroundings, but like they have an eye on you and maybe you can't particularly see it. Um, other people's money, taxes. So there is some deeper like need to exert perhaps like your power. Um, I really feel like there's some, there's something about exerting your power from like a very deep, from a deeper part of you, um, you know, out so we're going to clarify with tarot to see exactly what that is, okay? And then for the next card, we have the North Node, okay? Uh, destiny and Challenges. So the North Node has been in Gemini since May of 2020. And with the North Node being in Gemini, it basically means that we are needing to go towards, we are needed to kind of drop off more of like 
things from our past that weren't really working for us anymore and with the south node being in Sagittarius which is completely the opposite of Gemini north and south node are always going to be opposite each other um, so with the south node being in Sagittarius it's kind of like we're needing to get rid of some of like the shadow sides of Sagittarius energy like let go of old belief structures let go of old philosophies that maybe weren't really serving us anymore and go towards the north node go towards the destiny the challenges things that are going to like help us on our mission help us on our path uh, to success to help there these things are going to help us become a more whole person okay and with the north node being in gemini this is all about like information it's all about local community it's all about like who are we being who are we friends with who are we interacting with who are we communicating with and what are we learning in the process it's kind of like open yourself up to learning things all over again be a student again okay um you know like put yourself out there uh for the local community as well so perhaps like there is something that you're needing to express from deeper within you that has something to do with this energy yeah and the north node in gemini is in your 11th house okay and the 11th house is like represents like a broader community so the 11th house is going to represent like a network of people social media um so perhaps it's kind of like take that take that energy take that local energy take that energy that perhaps that you give to like your immediate surroundings your local community and maybe like you know start some start a blog with that you know like put it out on the internet like try to expand more people with that you know try to um reach more people with that try to like create a larger network around you okay and perhaps whatever it is you have to say perhaps whatever energy it is that you're trying to like Put out there has a lot to do with some deeper things that you might have experienced or some deeper things that you feel or think about and you're coming from like a place of wisdom okay or like some darker things um, you're coming from a place where you can actually share your experiences and maybe that's something that you know like you might consider doing for September and then for the final card we have the vertex the vertex is a geometrical point by the way it's not a planet it's a karmic point Sinistry, faded connections, turning point. The vertex always represents um, another person in your life. Always. It is always going to represent a faded connection. Someone that you were meant to meet. And they are supposed to change your life in some way, whether for good or for bad. Okay, so it could be like a blessing in disguise or it could be like a too good to be true type of situation. But no matter what the situation is, they are going to kind of like transform your worldview and they're going to change your life in some way and either way however it ends it's going to allow you to know yourself on a deeper level and it's going to allow you to really like strengthen your own resolve okay um so the vertex point is currently uh, for september the vertex point is going to be in capricorn and it's going to be in your sixth house of daily routines um you know just the things that you go about doing in your day-to-day -day life okay so this individual could very much be like someone from work or someone who is like who wants to offer you a job maybe someone you bump into um or like this person could already exist in your life this person can be someone who has already taken a part in changing your life somehow some way okay um and they're they are already part of your daily routine you already see them on a regular basis okay but this person could be providing you with money somehow okay this person can definitely be providing you some kind of money all right so let's clarify palace athena clarify palace athena for me please The full card, Uranus energy. Okay, so taking risks, taking a chance, like needing to have faith and just kind of go for it. Okay, so yeah, I'm definitely feeling like this is in regards to um, some deeper, like, like there is this part of you that is currently hidden. Okay, it's it, it's probably out of sight, but you have a lot of experience and you have a lot of wisdom, and it could be in regards to like maybe some like darker things that you've experienced in your life or it could be just in reference to maybe like the old call it could be like just in reference to maybe some of like 
the mysteries of life. Like you have information to share, you have knowledge. And I feel like the universe is wanting you to like put your hand in that. I feel like the universe is wanting you to like, maybe like try to do something about it, like become this like warrior queen or king and, you know, T try your hand at this idea, you know, take a risk, have some faith, because with the North Node in Gemini in your 11th house, this could have something to do with like the internet, like maybe like start a blog or, you know, start a channel or something like that, or like do something that can reach like uh, more people, or you can like share your story, or you can like share your wisdom or share your experiences about something. Can you clarify the North Node for me, please? High Priestess, told you. I'm telling you, whoever, the people who are watching this video, like, this this message is for people who are trying to get into tarot or astrology or something like that, or, like, something that involves sharing some, um, sharing some deeper information that you are able to obtain from within you, okay? The High Priestess, like higher knowledge, higher learning, and like, you know, I don't know, like starting your own thing, you know, connecting with others, perhaps like, you know, connecting to a network of, you know, being part of like a certain, um, um, oh my God, what's the word I'm looking for? Vocation you know, like trying your hand at a certain vocation. I was definitely getting that kind of vibe. Like, I don't know, like maybe, you know, some of you want to get into tarot or maybe some of you want to get into like astrology or something like that or the occult, um, you know, like that maybe there's like a deeper side of you that's kind of calling out to you in that regard, okay? Especially with that Pallas Athena in the eighth house right now. Okay, so what is this vertex? Clarify the vertex for me. Or you already are doing that. <laughs> Clarify the vertex for me. We have the three of swords. Okay, so... Yeesh. Um, Saturn and Libra. Okay, so there's some kind of heartbreak. Um, so... Um, so it's falling under the vertex card, which is about that faded connection I was telling you about. So you could be in a connection with somebody right now. Um, I feel like, I mean, I don't know if they're giving you money or something like that. I don't really, like, I don't really know exactly what the situation is there. It could be like some kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? <sighs> Like, maybe some of you who are watching are in, like, sex work or something like that, or, um, I don't know, you got some kind of, uh, you got some kind of business thing going on maybe with somebody, okay? But something happens here with the Three of Swords. Um, something happens. Um, it doesn't have to be what I said. It could resonate with some of you. It might not resonate. So like, you know, like I, I'm just throwing out there like right off the bat that um, my, I mean, there is a reason why my name is Tessa Taboo. I will talk about anything and everything on this channel. If there's no subject that I will not touch, there's no subject that is like unacceptable. So I pose no judgment to anybody, just FYI. So, um, I'm just doing the reading over here and I'm just saying what I feel, but I also know what's taboo. I know what, you know, people are still a little uncomfortable with and a little sensitive about. And that is also eighth house energy. That is also the more hidden, mysterious aspects of life that we like hide in the corner of society and we like don't really we don't pretend like it's not there. But it's there. It's real. It's reality. Okay. So, um, okay. So like, 
I don't know, something happens though between you and this person. There is some person that is involved in your life. Maybe something happens between them, between you and them. And maybe like you end up like losing a customer or something like that, or you end up losing um, a little bit of like money here. Um, and it really, really kind of like, you know, it really puts you down. It, you know, so maybe that's why you're considering maybe like expanding your horizons and trying something else and maybe doing something else on the internet or like, you know, trying your hand at some other kind of, I don't know, like something, I don't know, you could have some really interesting ideas going on here where you can like combine different elements of different skills that you have. So that is kind of like the message that I'm getting here in all honesty, Leo Rising. So take it as you will, okay? And if it doesn't resonate with you, that's totally fine. This wasn't the message for you. Um, so let us get into the final messages for you, okay? So I'm going to pull one card from the Spirit Animal Oracle. Um, what? Oh. Final messages, please, for Leo Rising. Final messages, please, for Leo Rising. Owl spirit, you see clearly now. Do you? <laughs> I hope so. You see clearly now. All right. All right, Leo Rising. I love you guys. <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully if this resonated, if you got something to say, if you want to drop a comment down below, definitely do that. Uh, if it resonated with you, like the video, hopefully you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.